afternoon, everyone, and welcome. This is Melissa Arma with the Stock Swish, and I'm here reviewing the SPY. Uh, this morning before the open, I said to everyone in the trading room, exit all your long positions into the open this morning. If you're in any long overnights, any bullish overnights, any any options, any calls, exit them immediately into the open. Uh, and today the market's going to sell off, and it's going to sell off big. And that's exactly what happened. So I read the market gap today, and I do read the market every day. The market is challenging to read accurately on a consistent basis, but I will tell you I do it better than anyone I know because even the market is one of the hardest things to read and predict, more so than even stocks. But I knew as soon as I saw the market today that it would do this. Now the question is where do we go from here? I won't know till I see A, how we close today, which we still have an hour left to trade, so gosh only knows, and B, where we got tomorrow morning. This doesn't change the trend in the market, but people are going to short this, you know, overnight. Um, my my, you know, my look to this market is still that we're very bullish, but you know, we did gap down today. The reason is I don't care about. I asked and wondered about it in the room, but I really don't care about that. I still saw the selling would happen. What I think people are going to think is that the market will sell off all the way down into this area here. That is a very long way away, and I don't think right now, at this moment, at 3 o'clock today, that that happens, but I'm sure that some people think it will, because the market has had a big run up here now for a while. Now, let's say we do that. Does it mean that we're bearish? No, it doesn't. Um, people like to play you know, what they call corrections. People also like to wait to buy and go long in things um, until they pull back. And so people will look for a, a pullback in the market past today, okay? That we don't necessarily have to do that at all, okay? The best thing you can do is get up in the morning, be in real live time, look at the gap of the market or you know, any stock, in this case we're talking about the market, and you read it in live time to be able to predict what's going to happen, okay? So there's no reason to even consider or think or believe actually the market's gonna come down here. There's no signs that that's going to happen. I just know the way people think. And I know people are dying to short this market because a lot of people didn't get this move up here in the market recently or even back at the beginning of this year because they already felt the market was extending coming into 2017. And we just kept rallying. So people, a lot of people have missed the bullish move here, um, which, you know, they thought it was extended and it wasn't, obviously. And so now people are waiting to do something and they're thinking that they, you know, they're going to get this, the move down you know, the short move. Um, but I'm not so sure it goes anywhere substantially. I saw that we would today, but whether we follow through and where we follow through will, will depend now on the market itself. And it could get a little sloppy. I mean, it could get a little sloppy here. It could get sloppy and it could get choppy. And, and it, it could be, you know, going into June, it could be a choppy time to trade. So, you know, I don't know if this is going to set up very easily to be able to predict where it's going to go. I'll have to watch it and see, like I said, how we close today and open tomorrow, where we gap tomorrow, neutral, up or down. But And then I'll read the gap like I always do. But I did a great job here today telling people to get out of their long positions and see the sell-off would happen and that you could really hold shorts pretty much all day. Um, I'm not even sure if we bounce here into the close. I mean, it's... I, I, I don't, I'm not even sure we bounce here into the close. You, you may have some kind of bounce here because people are short, but I think people's opinions are, are going to think that the market's going to really pull in. People will short. They'll hold it overnight. And, you know, we could pull down here, but I'm not saying that happens. And we don't need to. And even if we do, the market's still very bullish. So it's, I just, you know, to play against what's happening here in the overall picture is not advisable to me. Um, but I know that people are going to think the market's going to have a, a nosedive after today. So we'll just have to wait and see. And, uh, but I'm, I made a good call this morning for people in the room, and it was a great day to short. And, of course, that's what I like to do most of the days. So the bears could take over here for a short period of time. That period of time could be just today, or it could be for a couple of days, or it could be for a couple of weeks. It's not going to break the trend of the market. There's this. It's nowhere. We're nowhere near doing that. Okay. Uh, in fact, you know, I'll just tell you. The only way we the market turns bearish and there's, there's I mean, this just is not going to happen.
The market would have to gap down under 180 in the SPY for the market to change and go into a, a downtrend. And I, there's no way that's happening anytime soon. <clears throat> so there you have it. So we'll see what happens here. Uh, good luck, everyone that is still in the shorts today. Did my normal morning trades, held them a little bit longer. Didn't do anything this afternoon, but I could have. So some good bearish moves in, in the market today in stocks and the market. And we could see follow through the rest of the week. I don't know. I'll wait and see tomorrow morning and I'll look for my normal uh, gaps the way that I usually do. So hopefully everybody listened to me and got out of their longs this morning. Have a great day, everyone. Email me at melissa at the stockswish.com if you would like more information on the Golden Gap course. It's this weekend, May 20th and 21st.